To clean your swamp cooler, start by prepping the cooler. Make sure it's turned off, unplugged, and disconnected from a water source. Lock the casters to keep it from rolling. Next, drain the cooler by removing the plug on the bottom, ensuring all water is drained. Quickly dust the exterior to remove any obvious debris that may have collected on the cooler. Replace the drain plug and fill the cooler with a solution of equal parts water and vinegar. Do this by inserting a garden hose and filling the tank about halfway. Your cooler should have a water level indicator to help you with this. Then fill it with about the same amount of distilled vinegar and allow it to set for up to an hour. This will eliminate odors, mildew, mold, and any buildups on the tank. If the outside of your cooler is very dirty, like mine, clean it now using a household cleaner or soapy water. I used a household cleaner with bleach to try to tackle as much of the yellowing as possible. Be sure to get into all the grooves and edges so it's nice and clean. Let's watch. Remove any air filters from the evaporative cooler. These can collect dirt and need to be rinsed off. You can just do this with your garden hose. Use a Phillips head screwdriver or whatever tool is required to remove the back panel of your evaporative cooler to access the pads. Remove the pads. My cooler has three, but depending on the model of your cooler, you may have more or less. It may be a little tricky to get them out. Don't worry, no one is gonna see these. Just remove them as gently as you can. Inspect the pads. These definitely need to be replaced. Once the water and vinegar mixture has set, pull the drain plug again to drain it. While it's draining, take this opportunity to clean any exposed areas that require attention. Then use a garden hose to really rinse out the tank and any debris that has collected in there. Scrub the tank as well as you can with your paper towels or a scrub brush. Replace the pads. Don't these look so much better? Again, you might have to force them in a bit, depending on your model, but you've got this. Make sure the little hose is touching one of the pads. This is what sends the water from the tank to the pads. Gently insert the third and final pad. Rinse the back panel to clean any dirt. You'll notice my panel has air filters attached. These didn't seem to come off, so I just rinsed everything together. Reattach the back panel, ensuring everything is locked into place. And finally, replace the side filters we rinsed earlier. That's it. Now we're ready for summer.